Thank you. It's really an honor to be with you tonight. Like you said, my name is Benjamin. I'll tell you a tiny bit about myself. I'm a triplet. Both of them are right over here. They both go here. And I'm a big family person. I'm a townie. Born and raised right here in Champaign, Illinois. Like she said, I'm an entrepreneur. I currently run and own three different businesses. I'm working on my fourth here in Champaign. And entrepreneurship is my passion. Over 500 years ago, Sir Francis Drake said, Greatness from small beginnings. Do you believe that you can change the world? Tonight, I'm going to tell you some stories. And hopefully, by the end, you'll feel just a little bit more confident in your ability to bring about change in the world and maybe even start your own business. This is me in 2010 when I was 13 years old. I spent the money I had in my piggy bank and I started by buying some equipment, and I started DJing school dances and sweet 16s all around Champagne. And today, Main Events offers photo, video, and DJ services to weddings and other events throughout Illinois. You see, this business that has helped me pay for college, that has lowered uncertainty in my life, that has generated savings, it all started with a thought, an idea. When I was 12, my friend Reed was DJing school dances in Champaign, and I said to myself, why can't I do that? So I asked some of my friends. Some of them said, Benny, he's really talented. Others said, he's got some really nice equipment. And I remember thinking to myself, you know what? Maybe they're right. I'm not enough. I don't know how to do this. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough connections. I'm just 12 years old. I am not enough. Tonight I'm here to tell you, it's not about how enough you are. It's about how much you're willing to grow. It's about your willingness to go for it. And if you don't know how to get started, then start telling your friends about it. Start asking your parents. It's greatness from small beginnings. Just get started. You know what I did? I started hanging out with Reed. I made him my mentor. I asked him way too many questions, and he was so helpful to me. All the mentors I've had in my life have just been so influential to who I am today. So who in your life can be a mentor to you? It could be your uncle. It could be your cousin. It could be your best friend from middle school. Get to know them. Ask their story. Because guess what? What they're doing probably started with a thought, too. This is me on my mentor's private jet in 2010, hanging out with him really motivated me to get, stu get started, and it really inspired me. Who's going to inspire you? Go find a mentor. This person has been a great resource to me. I was just on the phone with him this week. So even if you don't want to be an entrepreneur, even if you don't want to start a business, I want you to leave tonight thinking that you can bring about change in the world just a little bit better. It's not about how enough you are. It's just about how willing you are to grow because it's greatness from small beginnings. My second company started when I was flying a drone in my backyard, and somehow I crashed it on the roof. And not just the roof, but the tallest part of our roof, so I couldn't get it down. If this has happened to you, you know how this feels. I was really bummed. This drone that I love flying, it cost some money, was gonna be destroyed by the next time it rained. Amazingly, my mom convinced our neighbor to bring over a forklift to get this drone off the roof. So they got it off the roof. Come to know, this neighbor is actually the owner of a construction company in Champaign. And he asks me, he says, Benjamin, I've seen you flying your drone in your backyard. Do you think you could take some pictures of a construction site for us with your drone? And I said, yeah, yeah, we could do that. When you're starting a business, you always say we. It's just something you do. It's a trick, and it helps you feel more confident. It helps people take your work more seriously, and it just sounds better. So say we instead of I. But this person was asking if I could fly their construction sites. I said, yes, you can. Before I knew it, I had a meeting with the owner of a construction company here in Champaign who was asking me to fly all of their construction sites for photo and video every month. 
And just like that, in 2014, K-Air Imaging was born. Today, our FAA certified pilots fly construction sites across central Illinois. And K-Air is not only profitable, but it is the leading aerial imaging contractor for construction in central Illinois. Greatness from small beginnings. You might recognize this location, by the way, campus. My third company is pretty different from the other two, and that's okay, but I'm an idea person, and you know that I like flying drones, and I'm also president of the Illini Drone Club here on campus. So in 2015, I was working on this revolutionary drone idea that I had, and essentially, it was combining a Dyson fan, which is bladeless, with conventional drone technology, trying to make a bladeless drone. Pretty cool idea. So I planned it out, I spent hours and hours building this prototype. Surprise, it didn't fly. It barely got off the ground, and that's what happens. I failed. But I decided to build something altogether different, using some of the parts from that drone. So, I took some foam, I took a carbon fiber rod, some pennies, three of them, and some glue, and I made a really funny looking toy glider. And we used this to play catch with people. We actually just were throwing it around. We discovered you could play catch like this. That was a really interesting way to play catch. So we kept doing that, and then eventually we realized this is something we'd like to sell. So we went through lots of different design iterations from this. And today, Bringwing is our patented and trademarked product in, it, in my invention that we sell across the nation in toy stores and online. We've also raised $40,000 in non-dilutive funding for the business, including winning best pitch at the COZAD competition last year. Things are going so well that we're actually planning to launch multiple new products this year in 2019. It's greatness from small beginnings. What would happen if you started saying, what if, more than won't in your life? Why not more than can't? You see, the entrepreneurial mindset is about looking for opportunities and having the guts to go for it. So what would happen if you applied that to your life? Negative thoughts would be followed with positive ones. Every failure would become a learning experience. Every problem would be an opportunity. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what if I go for this crazy idea I have, maybe it's a drone idea, and I fail? Failure hurts. There's no avoiding it. I couldn't avoid it. Ask anyone successful. They'll tell you about their failures. If we didn't know what it felt like to fail, we wouldn't know what it feels like to win. So I encourage you. It's greatness from small beginnings. I was pretty bummed when my drone idea failed. And I just decided to keep going. And eventually, I came to something pretty compelling. Do you believe that you can change the world? I hope that you do, because you can. If there's one thing that you remember from this talk, just remember this. Greatness from small beginnings. Thank you for being here. <laughs>